Sunday morning and we're heading to the train station um, at Keswick to get on our train which is not just any train we're going on the GAN the GAN three day trip to Darwin stopping at where SJ? Marla, Alice Springs, Catherine, Darwin we're looking forward to this? yep why are we going on the GAN? because we are and? because it's our birthdays is it a special birthday SJ? nope certainly not a special birthday a regular one. It's a special birthday. But she won't tell you what it is. But it comes after 49. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> got an upgrade to Gold Superior. Cost um, a bit more money obviously. But we did pay a bit more money. But there is actually a pretty significant difference. size difference. Huge difference. Now we could really have, is a huge difference. We could have paid probably double again and we would have well, gone up to yeah, platinum. Yeah technically if you pay double again you get platinum but the lady at the counter said it's actually still bigger than the platinum ones. Mm. So we're quite happy with this room. Yeah. Mm. Very happy. Very very happy. You're going to show them what's around? This is the bathroom. This is quite adequate. And double bed instead of a single. double bed instead of two single bunks. And there is actually a bunk above. There's actually a ladder in the cupboard if you need. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> And two double windows, so we can enjoy the scenery. So this is what you get in Superior Gold Class on the GAN. like the big reveal into the bar here by the looks. Yep, here's the bar. You have to press the green button. has arrived. Mm -hmm. So happy, happy, happy. Question is, is it any good? Here is the tab, so it's been spilled, but you know, it's a moving train. It's okay. It's hot. It was going to worry a little bit about whether or not the coffee is a winner with uh, SJ. A lot depends on it. I'm not so fussy. Because yours is full of milk. Earthquake. <laughs> Proof that we are on a train. They've been waiting for something else to pass through. 
bulk fuel apparently. The road that we usually drive on the other side, isn't it? Uh, this yes. looks familiar. I think so. This train line goes off in a different direction. And we also use a different part of the Flinders then. Um I think so. That should be fun. Straight in there for coffee. Yeah. Peach. Yes. Peach too. Morning. <laughs> Would you like some coffee? Absolutely. Hell yes. <laughs> uh, cappuccino for you. Cappuccino. Any sugars? No sugar this morning. No sugar. All right. Thank you. I'll bring it out. Thank you. How many sliders did Sarah have? One. How many sliders did Darren have? More than one. How many? <laughs> At least three. <laughs> So we just asked the South Australian Northern Territory border. border. And there is actually a, a, <laughs> a, marker. a marker. But it's so tiny you can't see it on the photo. I was taking the uh, mic before, saying look out for the line on the ground, but there is actually a marker. So, With a sign go. on one side saying South Australia and the other one saying Northern Territory, so but if are, you blink, you miss it. So we are now in the Northern Territory. We are. That, ladies and gentlemen, was the Iron Man monument. And the significance of that is that is apparently where the one millionth sleeper was laid from Port Augusta um, towards Alice Springs. And as uh, was pointed out to us, who'd want the job to count those? Some of us too. Do they really have to? Yeah, they have to count every one because it's a cost said by the person who runs projects. There you have it. Just coming into Alice Springs. I've never been here before. Very briefly, off the aeroplane, into a car, drive to Uluru. That's about it.
lovely breeze, yeah. nice water. We don't get to swim in it, but there you go. <laughs> I think I'd want to. <laughs> However, there's some beautiful topography around here. It's quite, yeah. quite pretty. It's just a little taste. We'll have to come back and look at it properly another time. Yeah, without all the cracks. Yes. Off to dinner, last dinner on the GAN. Miss Jay's put a new frock on. <laughs> Birthday frock. Birthday frock. Daryl, not so much. He did put on a clean t shirt, however. Just been told we're not going to be stopping at Catherine tomorrow because of floods. A little bit disappointing, but oh well, what can you do, eh? So we're going to be. Going go on trips in Darwin instead. We're going to be getting into Darwin sooner. So, last dinner on the GAN. Not last meal, just last dinner. Last dinner. Cheers. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. The birthdays are about four days apart. Four days apart. Mm. An expensive month. You, you might think that that means we can do do them in one go and it'd be cheaper but instead we came on the GAN so that didn't really work out this year for our last dinner entree this is crocodile 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 it should be interesting it should go on then let's hey. see what the reaction is here we have, I think I've had crocodile before in a pie. Alright. Tastes like chicken. Yeah. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. So, um, I've got the barramundi. And I'm assuming that's some sort of fish roll in there. Um, but let's give it a go. There's no point. You know, talking about it, let's just eat it. Alright, let's eat it. It's got to be really tidy. Oops. He's also a messy eater. Let's do that again, hang on. So like, it was good. <laughs> it was good, I promise. Yeah, it's good. It's good. That's a winner. I have the beef cheeks. The what? Sheep cheeks. The beef cheeks. 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 That looks really nice. Oh god, that's tender. It's just collapsing. Oh. I'm a bit jealous. It looks, it looks amazing. Mm. Mm. We got veggies too. Mm -hmm. I might well. share some is this, the, is this the best one yet? Mm. I'm not sure. It's all been good. It really has all been good. I've got to say, I think it's pretty good. Alright, we're going to go with a... We're going to go with the... What do we get tonight? This is Capsam. Alright, that's bottoms up. It's nice, but I think I prefer the Shiraz. We're getting a little collection here. So that's what we had yesterday. So what do we have first? Do we have that? Or do we have that? I'm drinking that until my dessert comes in with my dessert. Like but this is really nice to drink with coffee. In fact, it's very nice to have it with Sometimes it may slip inside my coffee. Excuse me, uh, ladies and gentlemen, about to interrupt dinner for you. Just 
a moment. Uh, we have a celebration on board. We have a lovely lady called Sarah, and she is uh, celebrating with a journey on the GAN, a very special milestone birthday. So, Sarah, on behalf of myself and the crew, we'd like to wish you uh, a very happy birthday. I believe it's for next week. Correct. 3rd of March. That's right. And it's a milestone birthday, that's all we need to say. But um, if you'd like to join me in wishing and singing Sarah a happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sarah. Happy birthday to you. Congratulations for next week, and uh, we hope you have a lovely time celebrating. This Thanks. is it. It's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Happy birthday. She didn't see that one coming. <laughs>
It's pretty smooth. <laughs> Tracy Pollard, this is one of the guests to have a look. Hello, hello. 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 This is where all the miracle workers take place. Yeah, that's right. Someone's got to do it. We are blown away with how, how good the food is, the, the job you guys are doing. You love oh, it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Every meal. Awesome. Excellent. Thank that's you. Good. So, and I, I was just curious about the conditions the you size, work in. Yeah. <laughs> um, particularly as I used to be in the Navy years ago. And I yeah, me what, too. Did you? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. Our, our one here or in overseas or? Uh, I was in Sydney, um, late 80s, early 90s in the Navy. Oh, all right. I was in the late 90s. Oh, okay. And I was always, I mean, it was always good ashore until yeah. I civilianised it, then not as much, but um, but as sea, it was always fantastic. And I met, I was always uh, impressed with how our cooks did their job, but it, it's kind of the same thing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, and thank you so Excellent. much for uh, no letting me have a quick thank look. You. I appreciate You're that. This is dish area here, so it could be some four or five of us in here. Dishwasher, we we'll give all the dishes a bit of a rinse first. So you can see they've got the fridge and the freezer down the back there. Right. Oh, oh excellent. This is like a hot place. It's very similar. Yeah, a yeah. great job. All right, no yeah. worries. Thank you very much. How was that then? Uh, really good for them to let us have a bit of a look at that. And uh, yeah, the, the food has been fantastic, so 10 out of 10. So our trip is drawing to a close. On the GAN. On the GAN. And I have to say, it's it's been really, really um, a really good experience. Um, I could have done with an extra few days, but um, you know that's what makes it special, isn't it? So I mean, look, some pros and cons. Mostly all pros. Um, the only, the only cons. It costs a lot of money. All right, can't yeah, it's... O can't overlook the fact that, that it's not cheap. But it's but, value for money. It's just not cheap. But. The, th the thing is when you get that is, uh, and we've just done our little questionnaire at the end, and it's interesting because if you do pay a lot of money, you're always inclined to be a little bit more critical. And we really, really couldn't be. Like the food has been excellent. That's it's been, food. I mean. I am literally gonna roll off this train. We're gonna roll off the train. It's, the, the portion sizes haven't been massive, but they didn't need to be. The food is just rich, it's beautiful. Food is fantastic. Um, so that was like five stars to us. And, the drinks inclusive. Drinks are inclusive for the price you pay, but obviously you don't have to worry about that on the on the train, which is I guess one of the things that's a little bit different to cruises that if you're going to go on a cruise, you do have to pay pay for some sort of drinks package. Um, and that's part of the consideration. Mm. It, it isn't on the train. Um, so there's the, apart from uh, as I say that there is a cost. Um, and apart from the fact that uh, in our circumstances, we did miss out on um, a bit of a trip because of the weather. Um, I can't do anything about that. You know, the kind but of trip. What they are doing is, is we're getting some trips in Darwin to make up for the fact that we couldn't do trips in. So, that's, so they're always trying to sort of, um, if something doesn't go according to plan, they try and, um, I guess, try and compensate you in another way if it's if it's at all possible. I had happy birthday song to me. Yep, that's uh, that was very sweet. that's going to be in the video. <laughs> um, that's going to be that's going to be one of the really good memories from the trip. And any other cons, really? Not really. No. It's, it's, it's some people struggled with um, sleeping with the motion of the train, but I can't say I found that an issue. In fact, it was the lack of motion. It's when the train stopped that I tended to wake up. But the I, rocking of the train was quite easy to fall asleep to. I think it's been the most comfortable train I've been on by a mile. Yeah, me too. Um, so, which is saying something because the actual quality of the track, um, you know, it's this one track through the middle of Outback Australia, um, and you know, freight trains use that and industrial uh, industrial purposes. Uh, but it was, it's been really good. It's been really uh, the staff excellent, um, always friendly uh, during these 
uh, difficult times, 2020, 2021, maybe in the near future. They're I'm always friendly. I to Kath and her team, you guys rock. Yeah. It's been um, a great experience. The team has been fabulous. So, yeah, thanks very much to everyone. We changed our minute last, changed our mind last minute on a tool. Like, pulled out a mini miracle in such a short time to get us changed when we decided we wanted to do a different one yesterday. Yeah, we, we uh, made a mistake in Alice. Um, we uh, we thought there were only two trips and then there was another one that was mentioned. We, oh, we didn't know about that. And uh, it turns out it was probably the information booklet and we just hadn't seen it. But they accommodated that as well. So. Um, nothing was too much trouble in that respect um, and I, I, I expressed an interest in the galley and uh, in between servings they, they showed me that as well so I found that interesting so uh, would we do it again yes absolutely um, maybe not in the near future uh, maybe the other way around rather than Adelaide to Darwin first, but, um, yeah, Darwin, Darwin, Adelaide. Darwin to Adelaide is along the trip it's three, no it's three nights not two so might be worthwhile. And then there's the uh, Indian Pacific, which is the uh, other main the coast trade. To coast. Um, the only thing that would stop us doing that one at the moment, apart from I suspect the cost, which we'd have to weigh up, is the issue with borders at the moment. But once that's resolved, oh, I think we'd be dead keen to do that one to see see the full diversity of Australia the other way. Um, other than that, no memorable trip. Mm -hmm. In some ways, uh, it's compensated us for the lack of a cruise <laughs> that we were going to do to the South Pacific, um, highly recommended.